I think uh, world leaders need to have a physical, and all politicians need to have a, a physical benchmark that they have to hit before they're allowed to lead. Uh, just in case, like, if, if ever there was a, in the European Union, whatever, when all the leaders, are, they're just going to throw down and start spot, like, just brawling. You want your guy to come out on top, surely. They're all noodle armed fucking soy boys. And all the women, they get to, they get to have a, yeah, a weapon of choice, a like, blunt weapon of choice. Obviously not a, a sword, because it's brutal. Like a, a baseball bat or a, or a long stick to make up for their obvious lack of strength. <laughs> That's why I thought the Queen should have stepped down, like some doddering old fucking grandma. And now we've got some doddering old fucking idiot. And he's probably going like, to hang on with a nail. For, he's probably like 19 years old on a ventilator or something, just completely nutter decrepit. Just, oh, I waited fucking 70 years for this shit. My turn, mummy said it was my turn. You, you, you want to you wanna rule that looks like he knows how to throw a punch and take one? But why, or else, why would they call it the Royal Rumble if it's uh, if it wasn't meant to be a load of lords and ladies duking out in the ring in the squared circle? Uh. Do you know, imagine how many like, conflicts would be sorted out if it was down to two leaders having a bit of a brawl? If they couldn't come to terms? They both put on gloves and get in, like, jump in the hexagon. Like Zelensky versus Putin. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You'd definitely start getting more people voting for Trump instead of Biden then, wouldn't you? I reckon after 10 seconds in the ring about against Trump, Biden would probably be like KO'd permanently. I mean, let's be honest, there's, there's not much brain left to damage there. <laughs> well, they could all have the, 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 the special moves. I think that's how, uh, I think that's how a lot of like, robot jocks started off. You know, first it would have been people duking it out like leaders and stuff like that, and eventually you've just got a um, giant. It, like it, it, that's how the natural progression is: giant robots fighting on behalf of countries, or like the, like the Kengan Ashura method, <laughs> sponsored fighters. Even then, no, uh, no, it's not sponsored fighters. You know, you got to be you got to be in it in it in there yourself. You know, throwing hands. And you have to you, you have to be a master of whatever your country's form of fighting is. It is street fight, especially like. <laughs> like street fighter. Sure, you people on the ground shooty shooty have, no, have a little war, but when it comes down to like, hashing out the, uh, the the peace treaty, it's time to get in the ring. Get the gloves on, boys. Start swinging. People would be a whole lot less cocky about throwing nukes around, wouldn't they? Then, yeah, threatening you. Although, I wonder how quickly it would take for Kim Jong Un to be like pumped full of steroids and trained to be some gorilla. <laughs> Start offering everyone out. <laughs> that that immigration, just thinking, immigration would be more trying like, try, try to get some ringers, <laughs> set them up as your like in your constituencies. Oh, but then though that wouldn't work in it because it's like because they'd have to relearn. I, I don't know what Britain's fucking. I see like pugilism, like boxing, Queensby rules or whatever it is. They'd have to relearn, try to swap from Brazilian jiu-jitsu to pugilism in the wrong gear then. So yeah, there you go. That, that's my idea, but. All peace treaties and big debates by like, the people that are supposed to be in charge and leading need to be carried out by uh, by fisticuffs. So you can all stand there and debate your policies and then uh, start punching fuck out of each other. <laughs> I think I just I think I just uh, solved the whole world peace problem. So follow me for more tips on how to effectively set up a democracy via punch fighting.